Recently, I asked on my Twitter, why are you waiting for Plasma 6 exactly? And I'm going to showcase some of the answers and actually talk about, well, why you don't have to wait until Plasma 6. And the funny thing is that I'm actually, as a KDE developer, not following KDE Plasma 6 development at all. But I'm still able to do this video about KDE Plasma 6 because Basically, all of the answers are not about KD Plasma 6, so I can talk about them anyway. Let, let me make an example. So let's start with this answer of Toxphones, a better touch screen table, a tablet, sorry, and laptop trackpad experience, and possibly more integration between mobile and desktop apps. So this is something that is being worked upon, but not for Plasma 6, but also for Plasma 5, the current re releases. So let's talk about it. Now, number one, better touchscreen tablet. So there is actually a lot going on for touchscreen support and Plasma 5.25, which is in my opinion, like the biggest release, has a lot of stuff for touch screens. Number one, everything when you switch to tablet mode, which is enabled by default on tablets, I hope, is uh, becomes a little bit bigger, so you can actually click on it much easier. And also the gestures, uh, the touch screen gestures that you can enable by swiping on the sides are now much easier to trigger and much more intuitive because they follow your finger one to one. So this is becoming much better. That is as far as KD Plasma goes. Of course, apps should also improve in touchscreen support, and that is also being worked upon because newer KD apps uh, use Kurigami, and Kurigami is a UI toolkit that focuses a lot on touchscreen support. So this is improving a lot. Laptop trackpad experience is another thing that's being worked upon and is uh, a lot better in KD Plasma 5.25, the best release ever, because now there is one-to-one -one gestures that work really nicely for both the desktop grid, switching uh, virtual desktops, and the new overview effect. And this is like the same one-to-one -one for the touch screen gestures. So these two are much improved in the next release of KD Plasma. So no, no reason, really no reason to wait for KD Plasma 6. Possibly more integration between mobile and desktop apps. Now, this could mean stuff like integrating the calendar, uh, like a, bit, a little bit like Google does, integrating things from mobile to desktop. So if you do something on mobile, it automatically pops up on desktop. Now, KD Plasma or KD in general doesn't quite have something like that. You can use something like Nextcloud, which is not part of KD, but you can use it. We allow you, yeah. But something else that could be interpreted as integration is making sure that the apps for mobile and desktop are convergent. And that is something that is being worked upon because the new Kurigami framework that I've already talked about is amazing. It also allows for apps that are um, developed for mobile or for desktop to also work on the other kind of device. And that works really nicely. So a lot of apps that are currently being worked upon for Plasma Mobile, as an example, are actually also pretty good apps on the desktop as well. So yeah, all of this is coming, but sooner than you expect. This is interesting though, the newer stuff that eventually come with. So you could ask rightfully, what new stuff? And um, the new stuff that's coming in Plasma 6, of course, we cannot like right now say what's going to be. And as far as what we already have planned, there is surely a lot going on behind the scenes, stuff that the user won't notice. As an example, the Plasma API will be probably redone or muchly cleaned, but the user is not going to notice about it. Sorry, to notice it, even though it's very much needed sometimes. So what the user is going to notice are the bigger features that currently we don't have planned. That is, we don't plan to wait for a feature to be in Plasma 6 particularly. If a new feature comes up, then we ship it immediately in Plasma 5. So what is going to be in Plasma 6 is what is going to be implemented after the last release of Plasma 5. So Plasma 6, from that point of view, is probably not going to be a super special review release, sorry, but it is going to be special in the mean that Behind the scenes, everything will be like redone. And of course with QT6. This 
is actually really true. People like big number changes and it's slightly confusing for users to go from KD Plasma 5 to go to KD Plasma 6 without many big changes. In this case, the release, the change, sorry, in release number is due to the fact that we follow the number of Qt. So Qt recently switched from Qt 5 to Qt 6 and when KD will also switch to Qt 5 to Qt 6, it will change the number of plasma for from 5 to 6. So that's the reason we are changing number. Let's go on. This is interesting from Linux Noob. So we've got theme changing to dark automatically at sunset and back at sunrise along with wallpaper, which is an interesting feature. I do agree that we should have it, although as far as I know, nobody is actually working on it. And of course, again, this is not something that we need to wait Plasma 6 for. We could, did, could do it anytime. In Foley, we had a developer that, uh, well, is going to do it because remember that most of us do this in our free time. So Pre-built panel layout for easy customization. And this is kind of coming because uh, it's coming surely in terms of uh, global theme because global themes can also ship their own desktop layout. So you can actually ship a global theme with only a panel layout. So you can actually select it and that's it. So technically this is already implemented. Hopefully in the future, we will have also a, a system setting module to switch the layout. Hopefully there is a merge request about it, but who knows, hopefully it will be merged. But again, it's for KD Plasma 5, not 6. Option to customize overview, who knows, probably. I mean, we are KD Plasma, why don't we have options for everything? Of course we'll have options. And evolve to view images and documents like the preview feature. This was actually discussed a lot. Uh, there was a third party plugin that did something like this. Probably this will be not, uh, this won't be implemented in um, Dolphin itself, although you do have something similar to it with the right bar uh, document preview, which actually prevent, um, previews part of the document. It's not the same thing. And personally, I don't quite get the idea behind this, but I've seen Mac OS, OS users totally love this. So I understand it. Round corners by default. Uh, well, let's talk about it. So top corners of everything um, is already rounded and the bottom corners are only rounded for uplets. The only thing that are not, isn't rounded, the only thing are bottom corners applications. And although I fully agree with rounding them personally, uh, the Kwin developers are mostly against it. And last time I proposed it, were, they were against it for performance reasons. So we couldn't really say, no, please make KD Plasma slower and do this. I mean, yeah, sadly, this uh, is not going to happen uh, anytime soon. Blur for GTK apps on Wayland is so specific. Uh, it, I think you could do this already with the force blur um, plugin if it does work on Wayland, which I think it does. And by the way, why can't I blur discover system monitor using Quantum? Because they use QML. They use QML, so they don't support the Q style that is Quantum. Quantum is a Q style and it's meant for Qt widgets app, not QML ones like discover and system monitor. Kind of, I'm simplifying. Hoping for um, that in 5.26, nope, sorry. There's a lot of people asking for better WLAN support, but I think that by the time that Plasma 6 comes, WLAN will be basically perfect because I've seen so much improvements in the last year or so that I think it's almost ready. And uh, the few things that are um, still needing development will probably be done before KD Plasma 6. So no reason to wait that long. Consistency, 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 which is understandable. I'm actually the consistency goalkeeper, so I totally agree. And actually KD Plasma improved a lot on, from this point of view, at least in my opinion. I'm the consistency goalkeeper, so I'm biased, but still I think that we improved a lot. And uh, I will actually held a talk at the next academy saying how consistency improved in KD Plasma, and it will be the last talk I give about consistency. So make sure not to miss it. And by the way, to all people that I didn't reply, like Wayland from Luca, don't worry, I wasn't like avoiding your comments. It's just, it's, it's just that I talked about it later. So don't worry. So to sum it up, 
you don't need to wait for KD Plasma 6 really because all of the cool stuff that you want in KD Plasma 6 will be in KD Plasma 5.25 apparently but also in the coming app releases. Uh, in theory, there is at least uh, until KDE Plasma 5.27 before KDE Plasma 6. Um, I'm not sure if there will be like KDE Plasma 5.28 and uh, so on. Probably depends on how the development is doing. And again, I'm not following it closely. I just know what is going to happen um, roughly in that release. And I know that as far as big releases, sorry, big features go, well, KDE Plasma 5.25 is like more exciting to be honest.